Hello, and today we are installing Python from the source. If you don't know what that means, that basically means that you can install Python programming language manually. Now, for some people, it may seem a little bit complicated, but don't worry, I'll guide you through the, uh, all the way. So first, we open our browser. And if you like the video, then obviously leave a like and subscribe. So, where did it go? Oh, there it is. It took a bit. And so, what we'll do is basically just to Python and here, this link right here. You can see I already searched Python 3.1.12 because this is the version that we will be installing. So, just get to this link right here, this one, and just hit enter. And once you do, it will take you right here. Now, there is two ways how you can download this. And if you're a Linux veteran, then you probably know the second way. The first way is just clicking here and then hitting this one. Just hit download zip. And then it will automatically start downloading. But if you are someone who is more like interested in downloading it via terminal, I don't know why the heck my internet is dying. But if you are someone that likes to do it that way, then there is, you can do it too. So I'm using an Ubuntu version that is literally, it doesn't have anything installed. So for that, we do sudo update just to have it, our repository is updated. And after this is done, you basically just do sudo app install git. And again, if you have git installed, you don't have to do this step. And uh, this is just so we can download it directly. And that's basically it. Now we have git. So what we'll do is we will just get to downloads. Uh, downloads and then just should download it here git clone and then here you can see this link just copy this link and then paste it here and then it will automatically create a folder called cpython and install it in that so if uh, let's just uh, leave it down while it's downloading and let me come here. So again, if you are just picking this one, download zip, it's completely fine. But remember, if you use the zip, you have to extract it. And if you do this, you can just directly run the rest of the code for yourself. And this and this both give the same file. These are all the files that you will get. And here it says, uh, as you can see, it says this is Python version 3.12 or 12 alpha 2. So it is an pre-release. And if you go down, it also has the instructions on how to install it. Like you will have, you have the really, it has really nice documentation. So if you are someone who likes to read and you can go through it from uh, here. As you can see, everything is right here. And I think you can also get older versions uh, from here as well. But for now, our main focus is this. So I think it will take a bit of time. So I think this downloads a little bit faster. So I'll show you this one as well. So while this is downloading, I'll just leave it here and I will cancel this. And again, if you are downloading it right here, it will just download here, as you can see. Over here, and this is uh, the zip file that is being downloaded right now. Oops, this is from another video, I'll just delete it. 
because <laughs> there is nothing in it that's because it is still installed like downloading so I'll just stop this and let's just wait for this to finish downloading okay so it's saying it's downloaded so let's check it out and here it is the zip file that we need and I don't know for some reason I'm a little bit suspicious but well it is what it is and we have this zip file and you can if you're using Ubuntu then you can just click here extract here and it will just extract it from right here just just extract it like if you download the zip file just extract it and if you are using uh, the git method or uh, using this command right here then you don't need to extract it will come like inside the file so it will come extracted so now here comes the interesting part so here as you can see there's a file called configure and this is what we need and this will uh, tell us some things that we need to know. So here is what we need. To. First, let's just change our directory to the full uh, file we just extracted. So see python dot dash main, and you can just tab. And here we are. So this is the directory we are in. If we do ls, as you can see, all of these all of these files are showing right here. And then just do dot slash configure so configure there you go configure hit enter and here you can see you will get some message but you need to see is here these are the checks so this is checking if you can install it and it will show a lot of things here but for now and there are some errors so it's checking for Python 3.12. No, it's not installed. Checking for Python 3.11, and it is also not installed. But Python 3.10 is installed because, well, every Linux, I think every Linux distribution comes with Python like pre-installed. So now what we have to do is check here. So checking for GCC. So GCC is a C++ compiler, and Python needs it. To compile so since you're building from source that's why we need this compiler and when you do sudo app install python c that it just does everything for you where in this case you need to do some things manually and here are the errors so it's saying configure error no acceptable c compiler founds input so that's because there are no c compilers so we can do what we can do is just do sudo just make this a little bit bigger there we go let's clear this up and you can do sudo app install and gcc it's that simple so after you do this yes it will automatically ask if you want to install it and of course we need this and again you need gcc for c++ compilation it's a uh, open source thing like open source c++ compiler and it compiles C++ for us. So we need it for our Python. And as you can see, as you saw, that the file name was C Python. That's because Python is based off of C. So you need the compiler to build Python into your system. So let's just wait for uh, this to install it. Then we can continue on to the next step. And in most cases, you should have uh, GCC installed. And if you don't, again, just check that dot slash configure output. And if you have that installed, then you can just move on to the next step or just see what kind of error you are getting. And if you don't understand it, your best friend is Google. Just Google the error. And it there uh, you have Stack Overflow and you can find the solution there. Uh, they're way smarter so you can check that out 
And while we wait for this, I would like to mention that we are pretty close to 100. So if you haven't subbed yet, but you are watching this video, then please leave a subscribe, sub and like on the video. So I know that you guys are liking this video. And there we go. Now we have GCC. And again, if now we do the slash configure, as you can see, a lot more is happening. So this is just the basic configure. We can also do uh, enable optimization. So it will have an more, a more optimized version. And we will also do that. And here, as you can see, it also tells, that, tells us that a warning package.config package config is missing. So when you're doing this kind of thing where you are installing from the source, then try to read all of this, uh, at least the last few lines, because it will give you very uh, good information. So as you can see, it says warning package, package config is missing. So we can install it. It's pretty easy to do. You can just do sudo install kg but I don't think it's necessary but uh, it should be you should just install it because well it's a pretty a lightweight package and it shouldn't take too much too long as you can see that simple so now what we can do is again to configure but now why don't we just enable optimization so enable optimization i hope i spelled it right and yes i did so now as you can see there is a lot more happening because it is uh, checking for everything that is needed for this installed and most things are yes and some there are some no's but that shouldn't be much of an issue and now we just have to make it. So again, I'm using a very clean version of Ubuntu. So now if I do make, I can see something. Like, there you go. Make not found because it is not installed by default. But for you, it may be installed. So uh, if you don't, if you're like me and you don't have it installed, you can just do sudo apt install. We are using sudo app to install a lot this video. So just do that. Again, it's a pretty lightweight package. And that's basically it. You can, you can now just do make. And now this step takes a bit. And so hang tight and just wait for it. This is the uh, main part of the making process. So this is now actually compiling the Python and not installing. So if you just uh, do this and just go to uh, Python 3 dash dash version, it will not show you the latest one or the one that we are installing. It will just show the older one. But after, well, we actually install it, which we have to do, then it will just, it will show up. So you will see just Follow this video and you will see what I mean. And so there we have it. Now, what I said earlier that if you do Python 3 dash dash version, it will still show the older version. So there are some, not so, uh, two, a little bit more. So we can do, now we can test it. So make test. And it will just check if everything is okay. As you can see, it's showing past. And there is a lot of thing it will test for. So just wait for it to finish. And this is kind of like the end part. And we are almost done. And some of you are may wondering, like, this is a really tedious task. And why, why you should, why do this when you can just, Install it the normal way. By normal way, I mean just sudo apt install Python 3. And I know that's easy, but knowing this, 
is gonna help you. And this is kind of like a backup, so just in case you can't install Python. Oh yeah, and I am getting this. Uh, when I tested this, I also got this, but as I said, after this is done, it doesn't make occur any, like, doesn't come on, so. Uh, oh, let's just send this to developers. <laughs> it may help them. Now it asks for my password, so. There we go. So our test results is a success. And it took three minutes, so that's not a long time. It's, it's fairly fast. And now we actually install it. So now we just do sudo uh, make install. And there you go. Now it will basically just install the package. And that that's it. That's basically how long it takes to install. And now if we check it, Python 3 dash dash version. Oops, I think I need to reboot, sorry. Okay, so now let's make check. Yeah, there it is. As you can see, we have Python 12, and this just made alpha 2. A2 is alpha 2. Now we have the latest version of Python.